Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. We're waiting for Vanessa to tap in here. Um, I think she's a. Uh, should be coming in soon. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Got this bright old light on me. How y'all doing this morning? Open up the comment section. Chosen Fitteds, good morning. Hope y'all doing good this morning. Actually got to get something really quick. Still waiting on um, Vanessa to tap in. So good morning, Easter Sunday. If you celebrate, you know what I'm saying? Happy Easter. I know I do. Um, Super early in the morning. Getting these slides up for you. And Vanessa should be here any moment. Yankees, how did the Yankees do over the weekend? Them boys is 3-0, baby. Juan Soto has come to play. It is his contract year, so I expect nothing less. Shout out to uh, Benny. Um, yeah, man. Those uh, Yankees did great. I actually got a Padres hat on today because um, I'm going to the game. You know, I had to spend opening weekend in the stadium. Um, I'm super excited. Um, you know, like, I love baseball. I love I love to support all teams. Uh, the Padres is my team out here. <clears throat> I'm a huge Tatis fan, you know. Um don't ask me why I'm a huge Tatis fan, <clears throat> but I'm a Tatis fan. I love Tatis. Let me, um, I'm going to grab my coffee and I'll be right back. And hopefully by then, uh, Vanessa will be here. Morning, Joel. Oh, look who's in the building! Look who's Yo, in I've the building. Tech problems. Tech problems. It's all good. It wouldn't be a show if it wasn't any tech problemas. Um. Can you hear me? All right. I'm super or excited. No. 
No, I can hear you good. No, I can hear you good. Okay, cool. There's a little echo. A little um, echo. Um, Let me turn that. Did you turn off echoes? Good now? My little sounds low. good. No, sounds good. No, no echo. Chilling. Cool, cool, cool. Let's get it, Kenneth. I got us. I got something for you today, Kenneth. Something that you're gonna like. Um, happy you're here. We got non in the building. Um, I got my coffee and Vanessa's here. And yep, I got my go, tea going. going. Yeah. I got my tea going. Yo, this is crazy. We having tech issues so early in the morning. I had like two laptops trying to get going. One saying I need an update. I'm like, this is crazy. Because I was not ready for that. <laughs> nah, you're good. No worries. Um, I'm super excited for today because we got um we got some some things to talk about. <laughs> and Kevin said he's getting a fan hat. <laughs> oh man I almost, I almost forgot about that can't forget about that that was fun man that was fun. what type of tea you drinking they want to know what kind of tea you're drinking oh i drink um in the morning i drink the chamomile tea okay okay that yeah. sounds good let me go ahead and um uh, there we go excuse my background today so now you good you got the kicks in the top right corner. I like that. Yeah, I got, I got more in the top, but I just got a whole mess back here. Yes, yes, yes. So, if you guys don't know, um, you guys, you guys are here every Sunday. It's no way. It's, it's no way you guys don't know. But you guys know the vibes. Coffee chat. Uh, we are celebrating episode thirteen today. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, this Easter, Easter Sunday, host, yes, hosted by the one and only Vanessa and me, everyone's big bro. We do this every 9 a.m. on Sundays. We like to get on here early, chop it up chop about, it. you know, the hats of the weekend. Um, we like to talk about kicks that are potentially coming out and have our little shop talk at the end. So, Vanessa, let's get into the first, first slide. Um and there's only one caps of the week because there's a bunch of them. Um, yep. And we're going to talk about the Renarch drop. And you can see all the all the designers of these hats here. They are all females. Females in the hat game. Shout out to them. They killed it this weekend. Yep. Um, and I only got space for them. We end in the month of March, Women's History Month, with just sure. the females today. If we missed any... Other female drops at other hat stores. Please let us know. Um, but um, yeah, man, they killed every single hat here. Um, man, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, I guess I guess I will have to begin with the stories. Uh, we had Caps and Curls and the Mariposa on our um, show on Thursdays. Uh, we started off the month with Caps and Curls. And then the third week was the Mariposa. Shout out to both of them. Um, who y'all got? One, one through six on this drop. We we got every hat. Yep. We, <laughs> we got every hat on this drop. Not us personally, but the team got one through six. I actually think yeah. Justin got one through six. Am, am yeah. I wrong? This one, I'm trying to think because we were on live and everything, and he was showing the whole clip. I think he got one through five. He got this the Yankees for you. But as a team, yeah, yeah we I got, got the Yankees. Two. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, um, I had my hands in different hats this weekend. Um, so how y'all rate them in order? Oh, okay. Oh, dang. It's um, tough, man. I mean, I mean it's real it's really tough, man. I would say yeah. I would say my I would give you I would give you my favorite two of the drop. Um, and it's definitely, uh, I'll give you my top three of the drop. It's definitely the, um, Caps and Curls LA, the story, you know, because she was the first one to show us and that story that she yeah, showed us fun. with, I was like, yeah, we, we bought that at the beginning of the month. Like that one comes home. And then the Mariposa is like my second favorite because her story is very similar with her grandmother and the yeah. sewing machine. Um, and I love that Minnesota, um, M. 
You know, we saw it on the uh, uh, Fitted Algebra um, Magneto. You know what I'm saying? I think it's so cool, like, how these designers, um, you know, they come out with hats at, like, similar times with the same logo, and it, it just becomes to be popping. But it's like they thought of it before, you know, we even thought of it. Um, so shout out to the Mariposa. I love the M. It stands for her grandmother's name. Um, she styles fittest. I love that pink with that green, um, so. that metallic green in there. It's crazy. Um, and then those are my top three. I, I mean, I don't want to rate one through six, but, um, I, I, you know, Houston, that star, that's the only type of Houston hat I'm wearing, man. Um, I love that star. It's got that little pink, pink, um, outline a pink inside the the star which is fire uh the yankee is fire that's the one i actually have um and then that mets you know you can't go wrong with a met you can't go wrong with a Mets. so shout out to them man they i'm a sucker for pink yeah uh pink is a pink is a great color it's a great color what do you think uh vanessa um i'm gonna look at chosen's comment he said i never heard of any of the stories if you didn't hear the stories you got to jump on um caps and curveballs i did interviews on both these ladies um mariposa and caps and curls but when it comes to rating i bought caps and curls hat like in my head before she even showed it because we were in the interview talking about the hat i didn't care what it looked like i literally bought it because what she was telling me so yeah gonna be my number one because that story just hit home for me and the mm. same thing with um mariposa you know when she talks about why she does things there's a purpose this is a diff i feel like with the girls they very like they're very detailed in the hats and why they do what they do you know what i mean when yeah. mariposa was like oh um this is the eighth eighth letter this has this you know like everything has a yeah. why she does what she does yeah. And it was yeah. just and that's, dope. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And it's I agree. so unlike in, in that aspect. Um, I guess it's more than the hats when it comes to these drops because a lot of the, those three girls, from my understanding, Mariposa, Caps and Crows, and She Style Fitted, they did it on someone that inspired them. The other girls, mm. um, I believe the Yankees is a for Selena album. Um for Sills hat, yeah. the Mets was off of a, a album as well. And then the Julieta okay. one, I don't know what the background was other than maybe being from Texas. Yeah. So that that would be I'm, my orders, the same as yours. Okay. Yeah. I mean, listen, these females, you know, they, they really put in this work, you know, a lot of a lot of a lot of stores haven't given them opportunities. If you if you look at the the times they've dropped, they've only dropped with a handful of stores. I don't even, I think she styles the only one who's done like a, a my fittest drop on the West coast. None of these, none of these, uh, you know, female designers have even dropped any hats on the, on the West coast. So, you know, they, they're still putting in work. Um, you know, and I agree, Kenneth, that's why, that's why we, we wanted to shout out Renards because they didn't have to do this. They didn't just do like the hat drop. They had like a whole event, you know, they had, they had um like a, the whole week it was like a started wednesday like food truck you know like i don't know did they have any like meet and greet but i, I knew i know that it was a lot of invitation to the store and just showing love so shout out to had, mike he's he's the owner i don't know if they had any meet and greets i'm assuming i'm assuming of course when everybody went on saturday yeah um, saturday probably have for to sure. ask the guys a little bit but the guys are coming out with the vlog so maybe it might be in there but Wednesday yeah. started that they had vendors and all that stuff. And a lot of the vendors, I believe the vendors were all women. So they did oh, nice. a whole women, like women's kind of week. Nice. So I thought that was super dope. Yeah. I mean, they, again, you know, ending off um, the month of March, Women's History Month with female um, hat designers. These are our hats of the week. Um, and we hope that, um, you guys didn't do bad. I mean, if you did, that's, you know, if you didn't get your hands on it, totally understand. If you didn't know about it, totally understand. Um, but yeah, tap in, man. Um, we've been talking about this drop the last couple of weeks. We've been excited for this drop the last couple of weeks. Um, yep. so just tap in. Um, you know, I think, I think everything is sold out. So 
We have three yeah. sold out. Uh, the Yankees is sold out. The Arizona sold out. And she style Dodgers sold out. Arizona. Sorry, not the Arizona. The Houston Astros. The Houston Astros. Okay. Yeah. So the LA, the LA, the Minnesota, and the Mets are available in what sizes? Uh, the Mets, let's see. They got a 7 one an 8 and 7 3 eights. The Caps and Curls, she got a 7 5 8 and an 8. Okay. And Mariposa has 6 and 7 eights and 8. And that's it. Yeah. Okay. Well, but listen, man. Dropping you... three out of six hats selling out, and they have limited sizes on another one. It's not yeah. bad. Yeah, the brown hat. You can't go wrong with the brown hat. Um, shout out to the females once again, man. They they did their yep. thing. They killed it this weekend. They they earned it, um, and it's perfect for the for the mar uh, month of March. Shout out to Renards again and Mike. Y'all killed it. Um, for doing this for the community and all the females in the community. I know everybody was in the building. So shout out to them again. Um, and and yeah. What's your Say size? Kenneth said his size is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure his Man. is probably like a common size. And listen, guys, you know, if you, if you guys don't like to wait for online, you know, in these types of like situations with stores like this, like we, we went ahead and, we were there, you know, we can assist and assist and not charge extra. Like we, we, we no. don't charge for assist. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so in the future, if we're going to drop and there's something that you want, just, you know, DM us, let us know, you know? Um, yeah. We pick, yeah. Uh, I know um, Justin picked up for a few people and you know, if you guys need anything, just let us know. I mean, it's probably, it probably would have been hard for everybody to pick up because just as a team, I'm surprised they allowed us to pick up as much as we did, but we damn near almost sold everyone out because we picked up like 24 hats. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. Yeah. Pretty intense. I got two other hats from two other stores that I'm excited to show y'all in the future. <laughs> but yeah, man, um, before we get into, because, um, you know, obviously we're leaving hats of the week. Um, I wanted to show something off and, um, it's about the next segment. So shout out to, to the man of the hour um, and our favorite. I'm sorry. I don't mean to say it like that, but he is <laughs> one of our favorites here. Um, I got a big package here. So we're going to open it up on live right now. Um, you know, you guys tune in with us every week. And I waited. I waited to open this up for you guys. I was super excited. You could ask Vanessa. I was like, man, I'm about to just open this thing up. And I was like, nah, I gotta, I gotta wait for, I gotta wait for yeah, tomorrow yeah, to he, show it off. He called me and he was like, yo, I want to do, should I do an unboxing or should I just wait till we're on live? <laughs> live unboxing. Honestly, first impressions, this box is bananas. Look at this box. This is see-through. Oh my God. Live unboxing, y'all. What do y'all think it is? Oh, well, Kenneth knows what it is, Kenneth but knows. um, you guys can guess really quick in the comments. Um, shout out to the store, watching, first off. If you guys were watching, Jules has been on the search for these, so. Facts, facts. <laughs> Yo, listen, man. Um, shout out to St. Alfred. Um, I copped this Tuesday, and they got here yesterday. Come on. Come on now. Nike's not even doing that. I know they're a bigger company, but... <laughs> Y'all not ready for these. Yes, sir. Air Max ones. Super dope. Look at that. Look at that blue. Oh my god. The smell of new kicks, baby. Smell of new kicks. I love it. Um, shout out to it. Kenneth, man. He knew he knew I wanted these. He hit me up in the DM. Um Shout out, shout out to Kenneth, man. Big shout out to you. I tried to get these on the sneakers app uh, last week and they sold out. So for Air Max Day, I was kind of sad. Um, but listen, man, we got it. Um, shout out to Kenneth. We really appreciate you. Um, I really appreciate you. And I'm Me sure too. if it was, you know, Vanessa looking for the, sh for the shoe, uh, we know you would have 
spray some crep protect on it. Yes. Um, shout out to crep. We're trying to get sponsored by them. Um, you know, we sent out an email, but you guys know it's 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 not fake. Crep. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get right into the hats of the week with our first slide. Yeah, yeah. Vanessa, take it away. Um, all right, so let's go into my first one. Why is my screen doing that? Okay. Um, uh, my first one, let's talk about those new balance on the far right. They're the olive green ones. These are the new balance yeah. thousands. They're coming, they're coming back out. Now I can't speak they're coming back out because I never seen this until most oh. like most recently. Um, they yeah. also have a pink and tan colorway that was leaked. And there's no release date for these, and the retail price is 150. What's your what's your thoughts about these? I like these for the price. Um they're giving me um Air Max Silver Bullets 90s. Are those 90s? Um, they're giving me that Air Max vibe. I, I the love blue. these. I I love these. Um, the colorway. I like the oh, green. It's not too like. That's why I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man. Um, you know, the 97s. Yes. Sorry. I said 90s. So. I would say I would say these remind me of the 97s. Um, I'm a big 97s fan. So even to see something similar, um, these photos that I got weren't the best of the uh, full shoe, obviously. But they got the pink ones right here. And I actually like the pink ones. Let me see if I take a screenshot of it. No, I didn't. Yeah, let's get it on the big screen. No. Let me see. Let me see. Cause I actually, when they said pink and tan, I was like, all right, cool. But it's pink, tan, and um, green, the olive green. I'm trying to look. I don't see any pink, tan ones up here. Here, um, let's see if so many ads want to pop up. All right, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, let's get you on the big screen. Yeah, I like those. Oh, well, they don't look like the 97s uh, in that photo right there. Mm -mm. But I think it's because the pink is is really sticking out. Yeah, I like those. It reminds me of this one shoe, and I can't pick up the name. Kenneth probably knows what I'm talking about. It's a bulkier shoe. It's not a Nike. It's, it's not like a, it's a, like a different brand name. The bottom is like that silver surfer um, look, like that silver mm. with like metallic. And then the top has like magenta or black. I forgot what they're called. My my um, my brother-in-law actually collects them. And when I seen them, I'm like, I've never seen those. But I guess it's like a hype shoe. But it reminds me of these because the bottom is, you know, the green and then the top is a different color. I'm going to have to find them and then... Uh, Put it on the next next weeks. On next weeks, I like yeah, that. Yeah, next week, caps and oh. Sorry, guys. My I mean, caps and girls. Coffee cap. See Benny running around because uh, they got the the zoomies right now. Both my cats. Um, I like those. I think that was a good one to put on. Before we get into your next one, man, I'm gonna speak on the shoe that I got here in the middle. Um, do, can you tell the brand? Yeah, I have a pair of these. Do you really? Yeah. I like these. But they're a little so bit are... different. I have I have a similar pair of that. Like they're um so, they're kind of like they're I don't know if it's like their athletic wear. But it says that it's it's gotta be similar because they're saying they unveiled unveiled these. So these are Van Skateboarding um and Anthony Van Englin, I, I, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, unveil the AV 2.0s. Uh, it's a skate slash lifestyle crossover. Um, honestly, just the look of it, I like the look of it. Clean shoe. Um, you guys gotta hit up Sneaker News to look at the photos. Just 
they're they're just a, a nice shoe overall, in my opinion. Let me see if I can um I'm gonna so the other the ones that I'm talking about for that one, I have something similar by them that which is their athletic wear. They're they're not comfortable when you first put them on. It's one of those type of shoes that you have to like wear them, wear them to stretch, like you know, to when stretch are bands yourself. ever comfortable when you first put them on. That's true. <laughs> that's true. So once you get them going, like I used to wear them for work all the time, and yeah. um, even when I bought them, the guy was like, "Oh, my um, my sister's a nurse, and she wears them, and she's like, they they're the most comfortable things." And they have different colorways and stuff like that. So I picked up a work pair and a gym pair. I think I actually have them right here. There's something similar. Look at the uh, like breakdown of the shoe, which I thought was really cool. See how like they're um, kind of similar. Yeah, I got you. Oh yeah, I see what you. I see what you're saying. Very similar. Very similar. And I have a I have a small foot compared to Jules, <laughs> but yeah, they have the same. <laughs> same like feel or look i should say no nah, i like those um the reason why i put these on was just because it was it was um it was definitely different um and i like that vans is is taking a lifestyle approach to it because you know people wear you know my girl sometimes she wears her vans just regularly and i'm like um those are not gonna be comfortable for today <laughs> yeah so something like this flat. it's a style and com it looks style and comfort put together kind of um yeah i would and... say about these ones, the the ones that i just showed off they do have more of an arch because you know when you do vans vans are very flat yes they have yes. no arch in them, so i would say um if you guys are looking for this march 28th uh these will be releasing keep your eye on them you know what I'm saying? You see them in the store, put them in hand, let us know what you think about them. Um, yes, Sita does that. Um, Venice, I didn't want to say that. Uh, so, um, but that is uh, what pisses me off the most <laughs> is her wearing Vans to the gym. <laughs> well, good people, morning. Well, good morning. The girls, but well, I should say the girls, like my sister in law is a big um, gym person. And they believe like the vans are good to lift in the yeah, converse, yeah. like everything that's flat, which I think would be crazy to me because my girl's but, not going to the gym to lift the nose. I promise you that she's going to the gym to do her cardio and nose. And that's, and that's even worse because that's what's gonna hurt your feet. Yeah, yeah. So listen, shout out to shout out to those who use the vans for the proper reasons of squatting, because that's what they should be used for. <laughs> Um, don't shout, don't shout out Sita like that. Like, nah, she no, not she'll, see, she'll see this later. She'll see this later. Um, but yeah, th shout out to those vans. All right, let's go into these last ones on my end. Well, not last ones, but last one on this slide. This is Kevin Durant's latest model, the Nike K KD 17. It has been mm -hmm. noted that it's been close to the, the Air Max Plus on the bottom. Now the question the is, way? yeah, well, it's saying that it had influence, just the the whole model in general. Oh, okay. Now the question is, how much influence did it have? Because if you ask me, those are not it. Those shits are ugly. They look different. <laughs> they look way different. Say, like, this is I like say, I would say, say this is what I wanted, and this is what I got. That's that. <laughs> Listen, um, I like the lines. Do you see the lines on the side? That that's kind of in the in the um, in, in the, the pennies right there. Um, listen, I would say I understand what you're saying. You know, like you're like, yeah, I want these. Can't, I want something similar to this. So you're saying if they weren't the same color, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to tell that they're it's inspired by this. That's they can put me. the same exact color. Did it don't look like no inspiration? Like I don't know. That's what, I don't know. Hilarious. I think it's because you just can't copy these. These are for me. I guess me growing up, these were iconic. I seen people wear you know the <laughs> Air, Air Max Plus, and when I see whatever the KDs are, I'm like, just just focus on your basketball game. Stop trying to make shoes, man. <laughs> like it's just it for Listen. you. 
Shout out, shout out to Kevin Durant, man. I, I used to really collect his uh shoes in the beginning. Me heavy. too. Um, I actually used to ball in them just to show off on the court. Like I used to ball in the um the gold gold metal joints, the fours. I mm-hmm. used to ball in those. People used to be like, but um, <laughs> it was really just to show off the the shoe. Honestly, um, uh, I I actually like the seventeens. Look, I don't I'm know inspired about. To never hoop again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm inspired to never hoop again. Is actually hilarious. Um, I, I like I like them. I mean, when you put the colors together and you say, "Oh, this was inspired by this," it's like, nah, I don't think so. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't look the same. It looks like its own shoe. Um, but yeah, shout out, shout out to Nike man and, and KD. You know, they they've they've been putting out shoes. This is a 17 shoe. Like, come on, you know. Um, could they have done a better job in making them similar? Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, I was about to say, hell yeah, because <laughs> that's oh, why I wanted man, to talk about funny. it because I was like, yo, this to me is not is there's no way other than no the way. Nike sign, I, the white, like you know, the colors. Okay, yeah, cool. But I don't think so. I I I um listen. It is what it is. Yeah, Penny's Orlando jersey is correct. Yep. <laughs> All right, let's let's get into this next slide right here. Boom. All right, before we get into your shoe, I'm gonna speak on a shoe, and then we'll, we'll get into your shoe. How, how does that sound? I'm gonna go. That's I'm great. gonna go right for. I'm gonna go right for the New Balances. I got the um, New Balance 1000 Silver Metallic, um, officially debuting in april um what do you guys think about this i mean first thoughts colorway fire um i love i love this colorway this shoe right here gives me another 97 air max 97 vibe because it's the same one it's a thousand kenneth said they're coming home and it said they're coming home. This shoe right here is clean. These might have to come home. I'm looking for the um, retail price. It's one fifty, um, and it says April. April. There's no European release date is set for April twenty fourth. So I'm not sure about the U.S. Are coming home. <laughs> all thousands are coming home. This is a great. This is a great um, design. Now, um, again, let me guys show you. Let me show you guys another view of the shoe like come on guys new balance is not doing bad no they are not doing bad they did a great job with this design in my opinion um and i gotta agree with kenneth man these 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 are have to come home what do you think vanessa i think they're super dope i mean if i had to pick between colorways i would probably pick the olive green just because I feel like with these, I would probably put them on to go to the gym. Really? The ones I feel like the I metallic? Could mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I like I like these because you can really. I'm a I'm a I like to wear I like to wear black a lot. So like, whenever there's like hints of black in a shoe with other colors, I really fall in love. Um, because I'm a more focus on my kicks. Maybe my shirt or hoodie that I'm wearing. Um, I don't care about pants, pants a lot, honestly, jeans and stuff Same. like the brands as far as that. Um, you know, but this this shoe, I mean, even if it was in another colorway, I think the design itself is a really yeah, yeah, good yeah. design. I agree, I agree. And I agree with you, Kenneth. Uh how he's talking to Chosen that sneakers his thing. He's learning about crowns. Yeah. I'm the same way. Yeah, learning about crowns. Uh, morning, Carl. Um, welcome morning, in. Carl. Welcome in. Happy Keep going Easter. On yours. Yes. On mine. Yeah, because you got the. All two. right. So. Yeah. So I mean, because it's Easter, I had to put an Easter shoe in there. So I got these Nike Air Max ones. Um, now, if you look at the details on this shoe right here, like the gray is um sway the uppers has some sway um the midsole has some sparkles on it and then the bottom is very colorful on on the um 
And the check I is put sweet, these up right? here. Yes, the check the check is suede. I put these up here. I feel like the colors are not too vibrant. I feel like, you know, for an Easter shoe, it's um it's an okay shoe. It's not too crazy. I know sometimes Easter shoes they can get they can get crazy. Sorry, mm -hmm. my cat is stuck. Oh no. That's why you need to get out of there. She's over here crying. She's trying <laughs> she to get in your cords. Yeah, she got stuck behind my PlayStation cords. I'm sorry, y'all. But these Easter shoes, man, um, I, I I chose them because it's Easter one. The colorway is not too crazy. But I know the shoe's not for everybody. Like, for me, this is not for me. But um, at the same time, I do think I could rock these, too. Like, I could put a, I could put a good fit together with this shoe. Um, maybe I'll wear I these instead of the Vans. <laughs> Nah, these, are cool. these? these are cool. Um, I could see myself wearing these. I mean, I wouldn't go out and buy them, you know, if they were given to me or whatever. They're not like a bad shoe. And this this style, they're comfort for me. So I'm good with it. I mean, you know, if you guys missed it, I have my Air Max one of the year. <laughs> uh, I'm happy. That's all I needed. The you second pair of laces it. that I didn't see the second pair of laces. Um, and uh, now I'm looking. I do like the back. The Nike ear in the back is pretty fire. Um, just so you guys can get a, a look at you that. You said too. the red laces are throwing me off. The back is dope. Yeah, I think the red laces th is throwing me off too. Um, I think I don't know what the backup laces are. I can't even... I didn't get to see those. What color are they, Kenneth? Please share that. Um, the second pair matches the light pink. Okay. Okay. I like that. So these are set to release March 29th. Um, and they're retailing at 160, y'all. Um, so March 29th was yesterday. Or I'm sorry, Friday. So I'm not even sure. Are these sold out? Let's go ahead and take a look. I'm sure they're sold out on the sneakers app because everything sells out there. I feel like um, sneakers is just filled with bots, but whatever. Yep, I um, agree with that. You think hats are going to end up being like that? Hell no. Unless New Era makes everything go through them, that would never happen. Like on an app like this. Yeah. Heck no. But they I mean, have Hat an app, Club, right? they try to do they hack uh I don't know. I know Hat Club has an app and I know they try to do like exclusive drops. They tried to do it on the app, but who knows what happened there. Yeah, I don't even see them on the sneakers app, honestly, guys. I'm gonna keep looking, but while I'm looking, um I'll go into the next one. Yeah, let's get into the next one. Uh I like so, I like these that you're about to get into. So they're actually an old release. They're um, the Jordan Turner LX. It originally came out two, uh, 2000, then again in 2017. They're asking, mm -hmm. what are our thoughts to bring them back? Should they bring them back? And these re they retailed back then at 120, the bottom, the Bulls and Spo one. Now, a lot of people dig these, but a lot of people are like, nah. But then when I looked on GOAT and stuff, they have these running for like 2000 2K? Mm-hmm. On those bottom ones. On the on the I mean, I think that's the OG colorway. The, the I, I believe red so. and black. I know it was those, the white ones, and the blue ones. Um I mean, I've never worn these, and I mean Me I don't I know. They're just so I've never had a pair like even back in the day, like, I mean, I, all right, let's let's look at it as first impressions, right? The shoe's different. Um, yep. It's not your normal Jordan. Just, I wouldn't play basketball in this. You see that big, like, is this yeah. a what? What are they? What are they calling this? Like a runner shoe, kind of? I believe. Let me bring it up. I think it's like a cross trainer. Like a yeah, cross trainer. Um, I like if it's a cross trainer. I like what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely not a basketball shoe, in my opinion. Um, but 
you know, this this is should they bring them back? Why not? Let's see. I was Let's reading the have. I was reading the comments and they were like ghetto classics. I had the originals, uh sliced my ankle. Like <laughs> people was going crazy in the comments um on sneaker news. Mm hmm Yeah, I mean, you know, for a trainer shoe, um, I like that this is different. Um I just don't know how I would rock these. I'll have to see them in hand. I'll play pickleball in this. That's funny. Um, <laughs> maybe. Maybe you can get away with it. Now, do you think it'd be something that they try to like um battle with all the other trainer slash running shoes, the big bulky? Because these aren't big and bulky. These are kind of like slim in my opinion. I agree. But like I think it. if they were to bring them out now, I feel like the appreciation for sneakers is not there. Like when we were growing up, I mean, there's yeah. still those people that collect and all that stuff, but the kids now growing up, they want what's hype. I feel like they're more of a hype beast than they are of like appreciation of where this shoe came out. Mm. So you saying you saying if a if a young kid saw this, he's gonna he's gonna basically crap on this. He's gonna shit on it. I would think so because I feel and this is just my opinion, I feel like they're more into the ones, they're more into the Yeezys, you know, what's what's coming out, the dunks. Mm -hmm. You know, and not saying those shoes are bad, but, you know, see how we're talking in detail, how these came out a, a while ago. And if they come back, mm -hmm. some people are talking about they appreciate them or, you know, I remember these yeah. or whatever. I don't think it's the same. It's not going to be the same now if they re-release re them again. Mm. I feel like these would sit. I, just, I feel you. You think, I I, I think um they wouldn't even, they kind of, they because of that, they probably try to make it you know, as exclusive as possible. I don't I don't see them making a lot of pair of these, if I'm honest. Yeah. Um, I know they came out with other colorways too. Like I saw a gold pair out there back in 2017 or a yellow pair. Um I want to show off um Kenneth sent me some in the in the in the DM. Um he sent me the Easter ones with the pink laces. They actually look uh, much better in, in hand better. on they look better on this photo than they do in this freaking slide here with that green background. Maybe that green background is throwing it off. Yeah, because then um, that uh, midsole actually looks like a pinkish. On this one, it looks like a like a ivory cream. Yeah, Ken Kenneth said this was it, which is good for me. These are one uh, when I used to work at Foot Locker. Um, we used to have people come in for certain pairs, like sneakerheads. They will come in and they'll put things on layaway. And they'll because a shoe like this is like, oh, it's not going to sell out. I don't need to go crazy and put everything down. I'll just pay it little by little. little you by know little. what I'm saying? My manager, my manager, he used to do that. So shout out to my first um, Foot Locker that I ever worked at. Um, I won't mention my manager's name because he was famous in the East Coast. Um, and <laughs> he was actually in the Foot Locker magazines, everything. Yo, you give me too much this out now. <laughs> You know what he used to do? I'm going to give out the information because he doesn't work for the company. I don't work for the company. But he used to he used to literally put shoes like new releases on layaway. It don't matter. Every release that came out, it was on layaway. And he paid it off little by little. It was to the point where we would get other foot lockers hitting us up because they're like, oh, we see you got this size um, in the store still. Do y'all have it? And I'm like, we don't have it. Well, we had them all in the back. Some he didn't even put on layaway yet. Yeah, man. Listen, whatever y'all believed about Foot Locker back in the day, about um, people holding shoes, best believe it, it was true. Um, you're hearing it from a, a, a man who used to work in that store. And, man, it was fun times back in the day, I got to say. Uh, that quick little story about uh, Big Bro working at Foot Locker. I don't think any of you guys knew that. But nope, I was the even. freaking man. That was a man. <laughs> Dude, it was fun. We had fun, man. That working at Foot Locker was so much fun. Um, they still hold shoes. I'm more than sure they do. Um <laughs> you guys know, you guys know. A any any sneaker head, they had someone at Foot Locker that looked out for them. You know what I'm saying? It was the good old days, Kenneth. It was so much fun. It was fun being a part of that, um, growing up a part of that, telling stories. I hope it comes back when I'm like 50 or 60 and I can tell my nieces and nephews or my own kids uh, these fun stories I used to have at uh, Foot Locker and working for that company, man. 
it was a uh, it was a lot of fun. But yeah, but man, I like I like and and just in general. <laughs> layaway was a thing when when growing up, like even going to Walmart anywhere, anywhere had layaway. What do you what do you, what do you think a firm and afterpay and Klarna is? Is literally layaway except you get to have the product in your hand. I don't you know. know. I think it, it's just like so old school. You know, I go in there, I get what I no, want. It is. It you is. know, and be like here, you know, little by little. <laughs> facts, facts, facts. I used to um. It's funny that um my first job in high school I was um I used to work at a um a supermarket at Shoprite and I worked in um I worked in the veggie department and people all the time will come in and, and take a rain check I'm like what's a rain check like all these little things that I didn't know you know what I'm saying or people used to use back in the day nobody uses that stuff now No because you had a different stuff. I feel like you had a different trust with people like you know, mm-hmm. beforehand. Now like the rain you- check would allow them to come back and get the same discount when the discount is over. Like, I'm going to come back for this discount and another time, take a rain check. Like, what? I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> well, I'll come Shout back on the- my bill later on. <laughs> Shout out to the old ways of doing things with layaways and rain checks and all that stuff, man. Shout out to Foot Locker. Um, those days was fun, man. But um, yeah, that that brings our caps and kicks to a conclusion. Um, we have some good kicks. If you didn't see them, this was the first slide. This was the second slide, and we are now in our shop talk era. Uh-oh. This is this is where uh, Vanessa strives best. So uh-huh. Vanessa, let um, us know. What if you, you got are for new us today. here, um, shop talk is basically like a spinoff of curveball and caps and curveballs. We talk about different topics than normal of like hats and sneakers and all that stuff. Most of the time we talk about like music industry, celebrity news, you know, things of that nature. But I'm going to jump on um, everybody's big bros bandwagon of doing the opener um, for MLB. And we're Mm. just going to talk about what are the how everyone's doing in general. So like the standings of every team. I noticed that yeah. somebody did say, how did the Yankees do this weekend? So I'll let you talk about that, and then I'll go through everybody else. The Yankees look amazing. Now, it's three games in. I'm seeing all these videos online, and everybody's saying, oh, they haven't won. They haven't been 3-0 since 2003. Shut up, okay? It's just three games, okay? <laughs> Wipe it out your heads. We got a whole season to play. All right. Who cares about three and oh? We need to get to the we need to get to the World Series and that's it. If it's not World Series, I don't want to hear shit about we could be 60 and 0. If we don't win the World Series, I don't care. It don't matter. All right. So, but shout out to them, man. They look really good. Um, you know, Juan Soto is playing lights out, Cabrera is playing lights out. Um, Judge hasn't been you know, he it's only three games in. He hasn't put any numbers up. So that makes me feel good because it's like, all right, you know, the last couple of years, all we were banking on was uh, Judge, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I'm happy yeah, to see that stinkies. we don't have to. Yeah, I'm happy we do the stinkies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy we don't have to just rely on Judge. Shout out to the pitching. They stepped up, you know, with their ace being out. Um, but I was watching baseball in, in other places. Um, and I gotta say, man, I'm watching the Padres. They look good. Um, I watched a couple of the Mets game. Obviously Justin was there. So I was watching, trying to see if I could see him and my sister in the stands. Um, they got it. They need, they need, they need some help. Um, (laughs) um, what other teams did I see this week that there was a game that I was watching? I can't remember. But um, I know we're talking about opening weekend and stuff like that. I was watching the Yankee game, but I was also watching the Knicks game where Jalen Brunson was putting up 60 plus. And man, oh, man, I never like I felt so it was so exciting just sitting there watching two games, two teams that I like. And they were going crazy. Dodgers, of course, Dodgers is going crazy, too. Um, They probably had the best offseason um, this year. Um, Yankees had to be second. I was watching, um, I can't think of the team. I was, I can't think of the other team that I was watching, but yeah, how are your teams doing? Um, because, uh, 
I see that somebody's a Mets fan. I don't know what. Um, oh, Kenneth's a White Sox fan. Oh, Kenneth's a White Sox fan. Okay. They're, let's see how they're doing. He said they're not doing good. So Thursday, oh. Friday. Oh, I was watching the they're, Braves and Phillies down. game. That was the game that I was watching. Bruh, Phillies choked. I was going to say, game they got one. smacked up. They I looked got, at the they score the other day, 12 to 4. Yeah, so I watched that game. I watched that game, um, and I would say this. They it was they were winning two zip. The Braves tied it up two two, and then out of nowhere the Phillies just stunk it up, and the Braves scored like seven runs in one inning. And I was just like, damn, that sucks. It was eighth inning. Like imagine being a fan, like yo, we're up two zip, enjoying the game. Eighth inning comes or seventh inning comes, they tie. All right, cool. Now it's a game. We got eighth and ninth inning. Eighth inning comes and the Braves just. Bro, the Braves squad is stacked. Like, you know, everybody wants to talk about the Dodgers. Everybody wants to talk about the Yankees and what they did in the offseason and who they have. The Braves team is super stacked. Like, don't don't sleep on the Braves, man. They're, they're, they're Acuna. Like they're always you know what I'm saying? stacked. No, they they have been, and and that's the thing. Like they they're they're a complete team, right? They've been playing together for a while. Uh, I think that's that's the, um, you know, that's what makes the teams come together. You know, when you've been playing for for a long time together, and and everything just goes smoothly. And I was watching the Texas game too, man. Shout out to Adolis Garcia, man. He's still out there hitting bombs. The guy is hitting bombs. You know I who I Texas, feel bad man. for. I feel bad for all these Met fans, you know, because they surround me, so it's hard to not hear about them. <laughs> but like you went to the home op- opener on Friday and one hit, like come on, and then you know everybody is like a Lindor fan, right? And, and then Lindor's doing trash, right? Yeah. So I'm I don't a big, know what, listen, what's going on for them. I'm a big Lindor fan, um, you know. Because, because you know, where he comes from, he's Puerto Rican, being a shortstop in the MLB, that's that's awesome. Um, NL is always, I, I feel like, I feel like baseball has been competitive, competitive as a whole. Like, just think about the World Series last year. Who expected Texas and Arizona? Arizona, the first game this year, they put up 14 runs. They're not happy how the season ended last year. So this year is going to be crazy um next level i'm super excited i'm going to the game today i'm praying that it doesn't rain it's supposed to rain in san diego hopefully everybody pray for me that it, the rain just goes away um we're driving down there um i'm excited i'm a huge padres fan i love to root for the padres i'm a big tatis fan i know you know what he did you know, I was but, gonna uh, say, don't get started. <laughs> don't get started. No, listen, listen, listen. He did what he did. We know why yep. he did it. He signed a big contract. He got hurt driving a motorcycle. People were pissed at him. So he felt like he owed it to the people to get back. And he went ahead and, and he took a supplement that um is illegal in in baseball. But I think it doesn't taint his career because he hasn't he has no accolades, he hasn't done anything yet. You know, his first year back. He goes out there, plays a different position because he was a shortstop, plays a whole different position. He doesn't win the gold glove. He wins the platinum glove, which is way better than the gold glove in a position that he's never played in the MLB. I'm a I'm a it, huge fan. I'm sorry, Kenneth guys. Kenneth said a good comment. He's not the only one. The difference is he got caught. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's one of those yeah. things you just get caught. Yeah, I think, I think as a young kid – as a young kid, he did, I feel like his perspective is, you know, I didn't want to let anyone down, and I did, and I wanted to just, I just wanted to get better fast. Simple as that. Um, and, you know, you can't do that in, in baseball. I've been, last year when I was in the Arizona Padres game, they were going bananas on him. Like right field section, and I heard every stadium was like that. You know, so he he's taking it like a champ, and he's got to move on, and listen, as far as all the teams in the MLB, it's the beginning of the season, opening week, opening weekend has been fun. I've been watching all the games. I got if you guys got T Mobile, MLB is free. Yep. 
Go do that. Don't do bad on that. You get MLB TV April, for free. April 4th. I mean, we're not sponsored or anything, but I know that they did no, it no. on T-Mobile Tuesday. And I think it's no, good I until help. the 4th. Yeah, I wanna I wanna help everyone out who's got T Mobile. If you know someone who's got T Mobile, yep. yo, but they don't watch they don't. baseball, you can sign up with your own account. They just need to go through their T Mobile site. Uh good morning, Sucio. Happy good Easter. Morning, good morning. Um it's a good morning, y'all. Um, I'm excited that you guys uh chose to you know tap in and spend it with us this morning. Um, I hope you guys if you guys do celebrate, I know I'm going to service after this, you know. Go ahead and uh hit service up. If you don't celebrate, listen, man, go do go do something nice today. Just be careful going out to eat. It's going to be packed. Fair warning. You know, go go to your favorite breakfast spot. Do something today. Today is a good day. All right. Um, man, what else you got for us? Um, Kenneth put, can we just put it out there that Apple TV need new announcers for Friday baseball or am I alone on this? Dude, I was watching. I was watching it terrible i was like what are they talking about what are they saying they were saying things and i wanted to go in the tv and just strangle them but you know what <laughs> they are they are past they are past baseball people who play baseball in the past they just need better like announcing skills they need they need better topics you know the females who do the interviews they're great you know what i'm saying once they pass it off to them doing interviews they're great but the announcers in the box dude Come on, man. They got to do a way better job. Um, and that's that's on Apple. Apple's got to do a better job at, at, at finding, I actually finding haven't heard people. it. I haven't heard it. Oh, you gotta watch, you gotta watch the games. Listen, the whole probability thing that they have, that is like the coolest thing ever. <clears throat> My girl's watching, she's like, What does G D I P stand for? I'm like, shoot, I don't even know. They're like, she's like, Yeah, in the corner it says GDIP percentage. I Googled it, ground into double play. And I'm like, wow, you know, most of these networks, they don't do that. Um, and then, um, you know, the, the crispiness of it, amazing. Um, I think it's, it's crispy. It's the sound. The, the production is great. It's just the announcers, man. I need better announcers. What do you think, Vanessa? I haven't I haven't even heard it. So oh, I need haven't. to. Yeah, 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 I haven't heard it. So I need to go check that out. Uh, Vanessa, I'm going to eat some she ain't gonna. <laughs> oh, um, oh man! Let's go back on the comments. Desirator, ha happy Easter! Yeah, you owe us a message. You won a giveaway. You actually won my giveaway, so I need to know. Oh yes, he's here. Some details. Okay, yeah, it's funny. You literally asked me about him yesterday. Um, yeah. Desirator, please. Um, the one and only Vanessa. Her Instagram is right, right here on the screen. Go to her Instagram. Um, we're we're talking about you know how we can get in contact with you yesterday. So I'm happy you're here. Please reach out to her um, so we can get your information. Um, listen. Yeah, yes. Oh, Caleb said he feels the same way about NBA TV. I watch NBA TV um, and I love it because I watch the Knicks games. But there's a part of it where you can where they let you just be in the stadium, so you see everything that's happening in the stadium is fire. So I love NBA TV. Um, oh, Desiree, not a big deal. I just want to make sure I, you know, I get your giveaway in a decent amount of time. You know what I mean? I don't want you to be like, damn, I'm waiting for Captain Curveball to give him my giveaway. <laughs> so I want to make sure I get that over to you. Yeah, man, we had we had um, if you guys missed it on Thursday, we gave away we get we did ten, a total of 10, but two extra because we announced the wrong winners. So we wanted to. You know, give some, them something, you know, that's, I think it's the worst thing to be like, oh, you won something. And then be like, oh, never, not, never mind. Like that Steve, the Steve Harvey, like that was crazy, you know, not to bring that back up. But like, <laughs> you know, like that's messed up. So, you know, we, we put that on ourselves. And, you know, Justin likes to say, oh, we'll sponsor a pin. Uh, we're not sponsoring a pin. It's it's our pin. We'll just give it to you. No way. <laughs> it's funny the way he says it. But uh, shout out to Justin, man. He's probably asleep right now, working nights. So this um, is his last weekend. So that's good. Hopefully he'll be back and hopefully we'll we'll have someone else uh, joining us for for some sneaker talks. Thank you, Kenneth. We appreciate it. Um, Thursday was was super cool for us to show, 
you know, all the women in our lives that we appreciate, you know, and they have our backs when it comes to doing this whole podcasting stuff, doing the hat stuff. And especially for me and Jules, and I, I would say Justin too, we collect hats and we collect sneakers. So it is a, it is a big support there because it's not just these, yeah. you know, and anyone that knows that yeah. collects knows that that builds up. Yeah. I mean, um, Sita, Sita don't really know too much about these. She just saw the box yesterday. So Kenneth, I have some explaining to do, but um, <laughs> it happened. Um, and sh that's why we wanted to bring them on the show because um, as many times as they want to kick our ass for, you know, spending a little extra money um they still support us and the things that we love you know so with women's history month that's why we did that show thursday so if you missed it go tune in thursday all of the people our loved ones are on there i know jordan had his mom doing the hats she that was, killed that it she did her highlight thing. for the whole show oh, yeah. his she was mama like jordan. i was like yeah jordan uh you're fired and mom you're hired <laughs> yep that was shout out to jordan good, man like, he's he that yeah, was my he prepped his mom. He prepped his mom, and she was like, she just was. She aced it, man. Yep, Talking about so acing a, a test, man. It was a great show, Carl. Um, but yeah, do you have anything else for us, Vanessa? Nope. We were gonna just do the rundown, but there's so many teams. Um, there's just a one team. I'm actually really surprised is the Pirates are winning right now. You know who hears they look about good. <laughs> who hears about the Pirates oh, and Neil, stuff? But, my um, guy. There's a lot of people starting off bad. I don't know if you guys didn't get enough spring training. Like the Astros, that's surprising to me. The Cubs. And I know mm -hmm. I'm making jokes about, you know, the Mets. I'm surprised about them as well. But I'd be getting all, yeah. you know, your, the new players and all the details because my father-in-law every year is this is the year for the Mets. But, you know, it never happened. So I feel bad for him. I feel bad for him because he's also a Knicks fan. So sometimes, Ball you know. Schemes can't finish they can't finish the fourth um and i'm actually a little surprised with the dodgers you know a lot of people are putting that um all that pressure on um otani you know like i get that was a big pickup but i think he just got a lot going on right now yeah i will say shout out to um yamamoto he did he had a better outing yesterday than his first outing which was terrible um, shout out to him, man. He did have a better outing, five innings pitch. He gave up two hits and five Ks. Um, so I would say that is great. Um, and then Joe Kelly came in and gave up five runs. So um, I know you guys hate him. Um, <laughs> uh, who doesn't? Um, but yeah, I, I can't wait to talk about this in a couple more months, mid season, maybe a quarter away into the season um, and bring this back up again. Oh, yeah, March Madness. Um, who y'all got in women's NCAA basketball yeah. tournament? Um, listen, That's man, hard. I'm a big – You or I don't, South I, I haven't, Yeah, I haven't, haven't kept up with the women's NCAA this year. Um, but as far as the men's, I'm a huge Duke fan. Um, I was a big Krzyzewski fan. Mike Krzyzewski. I always say it like that. So, um, listen – you can say it right, but if you can spell it, then I'll respect you. Um, <laughs> listen, I'm I'm a huge uh, Duke fan. They made it to the Elite Eight, and I know they play today. They play NC State, which is 11. They're a, un, a huge underdog. So um, Duke for men's. Yes, Coach K, baby. That's why we call him Coach K, because we can't pronounce the last name. <laughs> I would say Duke is a is a is a team for men's. Um, growing up, I always liked North Carolina, also Alabama, but their okay. teams it's not that. Not Alabama is my favorite football 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 college football team. Like you know, when I was trying to get recruited to play, you know, in college, so, I was like, yeah. look, I don't care if I play. I'd rather be the water person, the towel person. <laughs> I'll do it for Alabama. Yeah. I'll do it for North Carolina. But, yeah. you know, those are the teams that or those schools I was like, yeah, I'll go to. But, you know, oh, it didn't yeah. work out. It worked out in a different way. But those are those are <laughs> those are schools that I was like, yeah, that's my school. LSU is a dope school, too. That would that would be my third school. Hey, but any Duke, SEC team. Men's and women's I like LSU. So I'll probably do LSU. But you I like know LSU? Carolina's going to give them a run for their money. So 
They're gonna let's be see, in there. Let's see if LSU runs it back. Vanessa likes to hurt my heart. Sorry, Kenneth. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, listen, I'm I'm super excited for where sports are in this month and where it's going. So maybe next week we can um we can talk about some some. I think um if I think the um, the men's tournament. Yeah, the final four is next weekend. So Saturday and then Sunday we'll we'll know what the final teams are, which will be cool. We can chop it up about that too. So yeah, man, shout out to you guys getting involved in the comments and bringing that up. Uh, WrestleMania next weekend. Listen, I want to see what The Rock is gonna do. Uh, the Rock's been going bananas. Um, listen, I love wrestling. I know I know that is not real, but these dudes is acting and these dudes is going crazy when they get in their zone. You know what I'm saying? It's it's been fun watching them, and they make me laugh. It's hilarious. How do you feel about him it. going back? The Rock? Oh, yeah. I mean, from what I know, I'm not a huge following of of wrestling, like, yeah. but I do hear things, and I know that WWE, like, a lot of people were leaving and going to like, I don't know if it was like ECW or AEW, like different different like wrestling um uh, shows, and you know he's just. You know, he's the rock. Like, <laughs> who doesn't want to watch the rock? So, you know, him like going back on WWE. It's different for him to be back now. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I think he created a whole new look for him, like him being an act an actor and being in different movies, being, you know, like uh tooth fair, you know, like he has a whole different look to him now. So I think it's kind of he should have left it alone in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, have you iconic. seen? Though? Have you watched? Cool. You gotta watch it. You gotta watch it because as iconic and who he is in the movies, when he's in that ring, it brings back all the kid memories of watching The Rock and him as an adult and him like you. You just see it and you're like, I can't. I can't wait to see what he's gonna do. <laughs> like I just, I want him to kick everybody's ass, bring it back to the early two thousands, late nineties. You know what I'm saying? Like. They said he had to take over after the incident with Vince McMahon. I don't know none of this stuff. The only thing I see with Vince McMahon, he's always he, I see the right, of him crying. <laughs> I don't know nah, anything. Yeah, about listen. Wrestling stuff. Yes, he he is on board and he runs the WWE now. So, um, listen. Uh, I'm excited for the WWE and, and where the Rock's going to take it um, with the rest of everybody on there. But listen, we talked about a lot today. We talked about baseball. We talked about um, basketball. NCAA basketball, wrestling. It's crazy. We mm -hmm. got we got on a lot of topics today. Um, I'm actually um, someone put a good point. They're waiting for the LSU game and the Iowa game. That's going to be a good game. LSU and Iowa. Um, what when is that? When is that game? Monday. Monday, NCAA women's basketball. Yes, LSU and Iowa. That's Iowa's number one in that bracket. LSU's three, four p.m. Monday. Listen, we'll um we'll post something on our Caps and Curveballs page uh, about that game, um for sure. Um, so all of you guys tap into our IG. Thank you for the love. I know it's twenty in here. Um, go ahead, hit that like button for Vanessa and I. Um, goes a long way. Obviously, yeah. this is a second show to Caps and Curveballs. Um, thank you guys who come from Caps and Curveballs for showing us love early this morning, spending Easter Sunday with us. Cappy Gilmore, good morning. Good morning. Um, we appreciate all you guys tapping in today. It was it was it was fun. Today was fun. We had great talks at the end. We talked about some good shoes. I did an unboxing. Um, yep. you guys missed the unboxing. unboxing. If you're checked in, checked in now. Shout out to Kenneth. I know he tapped out. Um, shout out to everybody who stood, um, you know, but, um, yeah, that's all I got to say to you guys for today's show. What you got to say, Vanessa? Nothing. Um, thank you guys. Thank you guys. I know that we say this every Sunday, but this is early for the people on the West coast. Uh, same thing for the people on the East coast, but we appreciate you guys coming in here and rocking with us, kicking it with us and engaging so early in the morning too, you know? It's super dope when the comments are going back and forth because we feel like we're in a room just all chopping it up about different things, drinking coffee, mm -hmm. drinking tea, or if you it's five o'clock somewhere, it's cool for you too. But mm -hmm. it's just dope to you know have this. It's just really natural, and um, yeah. that's about it. I mean, 
we appreciate you guys like always. So, you know, go like, subscribe, send it out. Yeah, we're we're gonna work. No chosen, you've been showing well, us that well, love. You could, you, could, you could tell you could tell them a little bit. Listen, guys, we have um we have a designer, we hired a designer, um, and he's got two days left. He's he's got a deadline, guys. Uh, Cappy, shout out to you, man. Drinking the full loco in the morning. Shout out to all those with the yeah, waking bakes. We understand. Though. We know. We know what it takes to get you going. But back to the pin. It's coming, guys. It's in the works. We promise. Um, we will send you the invoice. We appreciate you guys so much, and thank you yes. so much for the support. We really, we really, really appreciate it. Four loco in the morning is crazy, Cappy. Just saying. That's what I'm saying. You gotta have the gold <laughs> for loco though. Yo, that's funny. Um, anything else to say, Vanessa? No. We appreciate no. you guys. He said coffee chat pin and shop talk pin. We didn't even think shop about shop pin. pin. Oh, I like that. We've like been that. um we've been brainstorming <laughs> a lot uh about it, you know, because we're so into the caps and curveballs. Like we do do this, we enjoy it, but we're like, mm -hmm. okay, we don't want to just take off just us two, you know. So we're really like yeah. right now invested with the caps and curveballs but we appreciate you guys really um shouting out coffee chat and this has kicked us into drive to get a designer for us to get a logo and we're talking about you know if we're gonna do different kind of pins and also what's the little thing called the the plimp the one that you put the on lip. the there you go we're thinking about that you know we have a bunch of different things we've been talking about maybe clothes coffee cups so a lot of things have been talked about we just got to put them Oh, I like that. We got some New Orleans people in here that want us to. We got, we got, we might have to pop out. We were we talking about, we were talking go. about going some, somewhere different, you know. So, New Orleans is definitely on the list. We want to see Cappy in St. Louis. We want to go to Chicago. So, listen, there's a lot of love in this community, and we want to give the love right back. So, again, thank you guys. Please go like, like the uh, video if you haven't subscribed. If you know anyone who has a YouTube channel and doesn't use it. Have them subscribe. No, I'm just kidding. Um, just share share the videos, guys. Um, you guys sharing the videos and, and recommending the videos goes a long way, too. Um, so whatever you like about it, share it. And um, we appreciate y'all. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Huh, Vanessa? Yep. See you guys Thursday. All right. Peace. peace.